good day. My name is Grace Camille Curtum, and I am a Doctorate of Business Administration student here at Westcliff University. I am here to present my research topic entitled The Use of AI Models for Healthcare Diagnostics. Before we begin, let us first understand the agenda of this research topic. First, we identify the current state of the healthcare industry, and then we move on the purpose of this research study. We then define the new emerging technology, which is an artificial intelligence or AI. We define what is AI modeling, and then we go about the current state of healthcare diagnostics here in the US. Then we define what ensemble technique in AI modeling is and how it works, the different types of ensembling techniques, the example of AI modeling in healthcare diagnostics. Then let me explain to you the methodology of the research project using AI modeling and the result. And then we define the benefits and advantages of AI modeling in healthcare diagnostics and then we run into the conclusion. Before we begin, let us first understand what is or how does the U.S. healthcare system works. They say that the U.S. healthcare system is a cottage industry. Because of the HIPAA law, data sharing between healthcare entities are hardly done. And so an episode of care of one clinic may not be transmitted to another clinic. Thus, the accuracy of the diagnostics are not good because that episode of care done previously can be a contributing factor to come up for a more or a better healthcare diagnosis. Because of this, we use that in this research study the emerging technology, specifically AI modeling, for a more accurate healthcare prediction. We combine AI models for greater diagnostic accuracy. And when we combine them, we solve the issue of data sharing and interoperability that is poised by the U.S. healthcare system. So before we start, let us define what is artificial intelligence or AI. AI is a subfield within computer science associated with constructing machines that can simulate human intelligence. And what is AI modeling? AI modeling is a subset of AI that trains and extracts the different patterns of data that can increase the accuracy and predictability of the result. When used in healthcare, we aim to assist medical doctors or anyone that provides diagnosis to solve diagnostics, especially when faced in tricky healthcare conditions. In today's current state of healthcare diagnostics, the result given by clinic A using a different AI model may or may not be the same with another clinic using a different AI model because clinic A may have omitted the episode of care that can be a contributing factor of the healthcare diagnosis. Thus, we use of AI where clinics can share AI models so that we can have the same accurate diagnosis and data. And so we use ensembling technique as shown in the picture. Ensembling, ensembling technique leverages existing AI models and combine them together for a better prediction, just as what we see in the picture. Ensembling technique can be divided into two types, simple 
in advance. For simple ensembling technique, we can use maximum voting, averaging, or weighted averaging. For an advanced type of ensembling technique, we can use bagging, boosting, stacking, and blending. Now that we understand AI modeling and how it works, we take an example using a public domain data set from Kaggle to test AI modeling. Here we extract the different features that contribute to diabetes and predict the accuracy of one having to get a diabetes later on in life based on the different risk factors or features. The following features we use or we have taken from Kegel are the following. Pregnancies, glucose level, blood pressure level, skin thickness, insulin, BMI or body mass index, diabetes, pedigree function, and age. For this, we run and check the accuracy for each clinic's set of features. And we leverage that each of the clinics may use different and existing AI model. Then we use a heat map correlation and see arguments that better define the data distribution. And then we use assembling technique to aggregate the models from each clinic to provide a more improved accuracy in prediction. Also, we use a 75-25 ratio where 75 of the data were used for individual model training or testing and the 25% is used for a combined model testing. Then we correlate between each of the features and outcome. Using a heat map correlation, we use the scale 0 to 1 where the higher the correlation of the feature, the greater the influence of the outcome, which is diabetes. And from here, we can see or we can derive that a higher glucose level, a higher or larger BMI, and the older the person is, the higher probability of having a diabetes diagnosis. Here, we have different clinics colored in pink, green, and blue. Clinic A studies features 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8. Clinic B studies features 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And Clinic C studies the features 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Why do they have different features, you may ask? Because they use different AI models and so they may have different features gathered. And this is the out of the box benefit of this AI modeling. And as we use this, the most accurate as a final answer, we try to avoid the individual model biases. What is the prediction improvement of this AI modeling is that you provide clinic with the most effective features necessary to improve predictions. We optimize models and data collection on the fly as new clinics are added and new important features are discovered. We can also see here that Clinic A or Clinic 1 uses the KNN AI model, which is the K nearest neighbor. Clinic B uses Random Forest AI model, and Clinic C uses Decision tree AI model. Here we have 760 patient records and they were randomly distributed and divided into four. With 190 records trained by Clinic A to test the features that I mentioned earlier, and 190 of the patient records goes to Clinic B and another 190 goes to Clinic C. So Model 1 or Clinic A Model 1 has a 90% accuracy. Clinic B or Model 2 is 
has a 94.2% accuracy and Clinic C Model 3 has 91.1% accuracy. But when we combine them together, that's why we use the, hundred, the last 190 for testing, you have a greater accuracy result of 96.3%, wherein we test all the features present from 1 to 8. This is just a result of what we have gathered earlier. And as I said, it has a greater accuracy prediction of diabetes by 96.3%. Of the 190 90 of these uh, tested, we observe that there are no false negatives in the prediction. There are seven false positives in the prediction, but we have 126% that was predicted correctly using AI modeling. Because of AI modeling now, we can use this for a more holistic and individualized predictive analytics. This will, as we can see here, I mean, is that clinic A with a different AI model will always have the same result as clinic B with a different AI model. With this, we can lower the cost of healthcare because patients doesn't have to hop from one clinic to another just to see or test different healthcare diagnosis results. This solves the interoperability, interoperability issues of healthcare because we are only sharing AI models of different clinics. So what is the advantage of AI modeling? It is not data dependent. It also leverages the existing AI models from the different clinics as you can see earlier, each of the clinic has their own AI models. They remove medical bias because they test all the features as you can see. We can provide a more holistic approach in healthcare diagnostics. And when AI models of different clinics are shared, the accuracy of healthcare prediction increases. This has also helped Clinicians to determine and identify the factors beneficial in predicting health diagnostics and also assist doctors for a more accurate diagnosis, especially when faced with tricky healthcare conditions. Overall, the aim of this is to lower the healthcare, healthcare costs, especially here in the U.S. To conclude, the different AI models can be shared and they can be combined together using ensembling technique. AI models can help identify the different factors or determinants that are beneficial to have a more accurate healthcare diagnostics. The use of AI modeling aims to lower the cost of healthcare in the US and AI models eventually will help in making a more accurate healthcare diagnosis. Thank you so much. And here are the references. Now I open for questions.